welcome to my fifth studio vlog. I cannot believe how quickly the, the time is going. It's Sunday today and I have been to the beach little bit sunburnt. It was such a glorious day outside that I needed to get some sunshine. Sunday was not meant to be my day off so I'm back now and need to get cracking. This week my objective is to create or at least start to create a collection that I can launch on my shop. I really want them to have a theme or you know have a collection so I really wanted to do something with the Pride and Prejudice sticker pack. I feel like if I had a collection of classics, I could have a range of products that were relating to that. So I want to brainstorm the collection, work out what sort of products I would like to sell, research um, manufacturers, work out the cost, and once I've done that, I want to work out the date that I'd like to launch it. I am going to get cracking with researching on that. I shall film the process as always. Okay, bye. shop and looking at the the video setting that you can now add you can add a video of your product and I thought oh well I've got a video that I did from the last vlog of my sassy girl art print which I just uploaded and then it wasn't in the right ratio so I started looking at how to change the ratio on the camera and then ended up looking at tutorials on camera settings and it's been an hour and I haven't even started my to-do list this is what always happens. I start with great intentions and then I go off and get distracted by things. I mean, at least I'm getting distracted by work-related things, but I end up adding to my to-do list and it then becomes a little bit unmanageable. But I've written it down anyway because I'd really like to add videos of all my products to the Etsy store. So I really wanna get that done. Yeah, I'm gonna get filming. totally distracted, I'm not doing my to-do list, but I'm actually doing a thing that normally I would totally procrastinate, so I'm going with it. I'm just printing off some sample prints. I'm gonna take the videos for uploading to Etsy. It wasn't in my plans today, but I'm just going with it.
videos to Etsy took a little bit longer than I expected. I guess all these technical things do and I still managed to brainstorm some ideas and I've done a bit of research about the sorts of products I want to put on and what's realistic to the launch. I don't want it to be a massive array of products because I'm just starting out so I don't know how well it will go. So it's now 9pm. I really need to get going on the commission so I'm going to call it a night with the vlog and sit on the sofa and do some drawing but I can't show you that because it's a commission and it's for someone's birthday. So I shall see you bright and early in the morning. Happy Monday guys! I ended up waking up at 3am writing ideas down because things popped into my head and another thing that popped into my head was the fact that I still need to do a test print for my greeting cards. So I've already done test prints and uploaded them to Etsy but I got new card stock because I wasn't totally happy with the quality of the card that I had. Because I was brainstorming last night about the collection, I am now so 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 excited about it. I am not going to keep it a top secret because I really want to film the process in these vlogs and obviously you're going to see the products and stuff so. Something I've wanted to do since before I even thought about opening this shop is make notebooks. I use notebooks all the time. I fill a notebook fairly quickly. I've been looking into manufacturers and there are some great manufacturers out there but for starting out it's just a bit expensive. So I started researching how to make my own notebooks from maybe like from school books and then I kind of thought why don't I take this one step further and just make them myself. I've been watching tutorials on how to do this. I'd really love to do some tester prints on the vlog with you so that you can see the process and I only want to sell them if I believe they are professional standard. I also have uh, an order that pinged in this morning that I need to package and then I'm going to test print the greeting cards. So this is how the first one's turned out and I don't know if you can see but the colours are really flat. So I ramped up the saturation and it looks so much better. This is the higher saturation one and it looks more like the original design than this one. There's just a bit more colour in it and, it and it pops a bit more. And then on the back it just says printed and illustrated in Scotland by Fizz and Flourish and then my little social media handle. It's so much better than the last set I did because it's thicker card and it just feels more sturdy. So yeah, I'm really happy. I just need to neaten up a few bits in the illustration and yeah, it's good to go. I spent the morning working on a commission. I'm at a good stage with that, that's due on Friday, so I really had to make that my priority. And now all I can think about are these notebooks that I really want to make, and I keep having ideas about them. So although the materials haven't arrived yet, I think I'm gonna start designing some of the inside pages. So instead of just having plain paper or, or lined paper, I really want to just add a little extra touch and have some illustrations like dotted throughout 
I don't know if it's going to be too much work or if I'm being over ambitious. I feel like it will just make the books a little bit more unique and make them stand out from similar items. I will do some drawing and show you the designs. I've just noticed when filming that, one of my earrings is missing. <laughs> oh, sorry mum. They're hers. Found it, it was on the floor. Amy for coffee and it was great because we were bouncing ideas off about Fizz and Flourish and the sorts of products that I want to launch. She's probably sick to death of me talking about it but she's got some amazing ideas. So although I was out for coffee it kind of feels like I was working. <laughs> when I was out a delivery came and it's the printer paper for the notebooks that I want to make. So now that the paper's arrived I can actually start printing my notebooks. been tweaking teeny tiny things and I originally had a little design in, in the corner so this is the the bottom corner but I've decided to get rid of the top so it's just a lot cleaner and I've definitely bashed this paper but anyway I've drawn all the lines myself and um, so it's exactly how I want it like I know how I use these notebooks and when you buy from the manufacturer you kind of, you have the option of lined paper, squared paper, dotted paper, etc. And this way, I get to design it exactly how I want. I'm absolutely in love with it already, and the paper's made from 100% recycled material. So it's got these like, little flecks through it. I actually love that. It gives it a really nice quality. I just printed off my first 12 pages, which will make a booklet of 24. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Yeah, and then I'm gonna test print the cover. So wish me luck. front and back that's a Ross reference yeah it's 
it already looks like a book. I need to put the staples in and I know how I'm going to do it, I just need to get the right setup. So I'm going to have a hunt for some polystyrene and yeah, get my staples hammered in. Okay, so I found this yoga block. I don't use this, I just found it in the back of my cupboard. And it's perfectly flat, it's the right kind of density to hammer the staples in. So I'm gonna try this and show you the process. with the booklets. I tried to cut it with my paper cutter but that was really stupid. I'm just being impatient. I have the craft knife and cutting board and everything arriving tomorrow so I just need to be patient and wait so that I can do it properly. This is just a prototype but I was just too excited to see it finished so I was planning on ending the vlog here but I might just film tomorrow depending on what time that order arrives and because I'd really like to show you the finished product I guess we'll see. So I think I'll end the studio vlog here unless you get the little bonus bit tomorrow. Okay bye! I definitely need some practice and also this ruler doesn't work. I thought it would be quite heavy but it's actually really lightweight and I thought the triangle bit would be good to grip but it just really hurts your hand when you're pressing down because you have to put a lot of pressure so that the book doesn't move. So this is a prototype so I'm not too worried but I need to do a few more testers. I managed to get quite a straight edge on the top but I'm going to order a different ruler and try again. And I'm going to end the vlog here because I need to edit. So, I shall see you next Friday for another studio vlog. Bye!